Have you ever found yourself pondering whether life on Earth was an accident? It's a big question, isn't it? And it's one that's been debated by scholars, scientists, and thinkers for centuries. The question itself is as vast and complex as the universe we inhabit. It's not just about biology or chemistry or physics. It's about all of these and more. It's about piecing together the grand cosmic puzzle that led to our existence. So buckle up and join us as we explore the enigma that is the origin of life on our blue planet. One of the oldest theories about the origin of life on Earth is the primordial soup theory. This theory, dating back to the early 20th century, suggests that life began in a warm pond of water filled with a mix of certain chemicals. Picture this. Billions of years ago, Earth's atmosphere was rich in nitrogen, hydrogen, ammonia, and methane. Lightning and solar radiation triggered chemical reactions among these elements, creating a soup of organic compounds in warm pools of water on Earth's surface. Now this is where it gets interesting. The Miller-Urey experiment, conducted in the mid-20th century, replicated these conditions in a laboratory. They produced amino acids, the building blocks of life, supporting the idea that life could have indeed originated from this primordial soup. So, according to this theory, life might not be an accident at all, but a result of specific conditions and elements. The primordial soup theory suggests that given the right ingredients and conditions, life is an inevitable chemical reaction. Another intriguing theory is panspermia, which suggests that life did not originate on Earth at all. Panspermia proposes a thrilling idea. What if life, as we know it, started elsewhere in the cosmos and hitched a ride to our planet on a meteorite or a comet? You see, the universe is vast and ancient, filled with countless stars and planets. Is it not conceivable that life could have sparked on one of these celestial bodies? Some scientists believe that life could survive the harsh conditions of space, frozen within a comet or shielded deep inside a meteorite. But what's the evidence? Well, we've found amino acids, the building blocks of life in meteorites that have fallen to Earth. We've discovered extremophiles, organisms that thrive in extreme environments deep in our own planet. These discoveries suggest that life could indeed survive a cosmic journey. This theory throws a whole new light on our question, doesn't it? Finally, we come to the theory of intelligent design. This perspective posits that life on Earth, with its vast complexity and intricacy, couldn't possibly have emerged by mere chance. Instead, it suggests that an intelligent entity, an architect if you will, must have designed and crafted life. Now, proponents of intelligent design argue that certain biological systems, like the human eye or the bacterial flagellum, are so complex that they couldn't have evolved incrementally. They term these as irreducibly complex systems. They believe these systems, in their entirety, must have been intentionally designed all at once. However, critics counter this by saying that science has already explained many of these irreducibly complex systems through evolutionary processes. They assert that just because we don't yet fully understand something, it doesn't mean it was designed. This theory implies that life on Earth is far from accidental, but rather a deliberate act of creation. So, was life on Earth an accident? We've delved into the primordial soup theory, where life supposedly emerged from a prehistoric oceanic broth. We've considered the panspermia theory, contemplating life's extraterrestrial origins. We've also examined the intelligent design perspective, proposing a purposeful creation. Each theory, unique and compelling, presents a different take on our existence. While we may never have a definite answer, exploring these theories allows us to appreciate the complexity and wonder of life on Earth.